In this video, we're going to use the transmission line calculator in Microwave Office to design a 50 ohm microstrip line. And then we're going to simulate the line using the M line model in Microwave Office to confirm our design. So I've already opened up a new project. And the transmission line calculator is up here under Tools. And then click on Transmission Line. Minimize that. And again, we're designing a microstrip. So what you want is to make sure this microstrip tab is highlighted. OK. For this particular example, I chose for our substrate to be RT Duroid 5880LZ. And I looked in the data sheet, and here are the properties of the substrate. The dielectric constant is 1.96. It's a given. The loss tangent is 0.0019. This conductor is copper, so it's copper clad. The height, or the substrate thickness, is 1.27 millimeter. The conductor thickness is 0 0.0035 millimeter. And again, our microstrip, we're assuming, is built on the substrate. Now, the electrical characteristics of the line we want to achieve are as follows. We want the impedance to be 50 ohms. That's the characteristic impedance. And we want the electrical length at our operating frequency, which is 1.5 gigahertz, to be 45 degrees. So given these electrical characteristics that we want to achieve, our goal is to find the physical characteristics, meaning what is the physical length of the microstrip line and what is the physical width of the microstrip line that will achieve these electrical characteristics. This is a synthesis problem. So given the electrical characteristics, find the physical characteristics. In an analysis problem, it's flipped. You're given the physical characteristics, and you want to find the electrical. Let's go back to our transmission line calculator. Starting from up here at the left, this dielectric, these are just some presets. Um, it doesn't really matter because we're going to enter in the values here anyway, so you can choose whatever you want. We'll just go for air. Okay, so now the dielectric constant, we just start pl plugging in the values, 1.96. Our last tangent, 0 0.0019. Right here, conductor, we choose copper and leave the default conductivity as it is. Going down here, so notice here on this left is the electrical characteristics and the right is the physical. Now we know all the electrical characteristics. Let's plug these in. The impedance is 50 ohms. The frequency is 1.5 gigahertz, and our electrical length is 45. And we know a few of the physical characteristics. We don't know the physical length, we don't know the physical width, but we do know the height of the substrate, which is 1.27 millimeter. So I'm going to click here on the units to millimeter and make sure it's 1.27. There it is. And the thickness, if you look at the picture, is the conductor thickness. And that's given as 0 0.0035 millimeter. So it's about there, but 0 0.0035. And then you can go back to inches. It will automatically do the unit conversion for you. OK, we don't know the width. We don't know the length. So this is a synthesis problem. And to find the length and width, we therefore click on this bottom arrow. It's like, given all these electrical characteristics, find these physical. And I'm going to click on that and out pops out the physical length and the physical width. And at this point, our design is done. We've designed the line to be 50 ohms and 45 degrees. So the length is 0.75 inches, and our width is about 0.66 inches. Let's confirm this design using Microwave Office. So we go click back here in our project. We'll move this there. All right, the first thing we want to do is, to our left here, let's create a new schematic. So under Circuit Schematics, I right-click and then click on New Schematic. And we can leave it as a default schematic one for this example. The next thing we want to do is go up to Tools, excuse me, Options, Project Options. And let's set our global units to make sure that's correct. That's always a good first thing to do um, before you actually start laying out your circuit. So frequency is gigahertz. The length, let's go to inches, and then go here to frequency tab, and we're going to simulate around 1.5 gigs. 
So let's simulate from 1.4 gigahertz to 1.6 gigahertz with steps of 0 0.0001. So apply. I think we're all ready. There's a little warning box. That's fine. It's about the English length unit types. And we're ready to roll. So let's go down at the bottom left, click on Elements tab. And my there's different elements. So under Circuit Elements here, click on Microstrip, this little plus. And we have a bunch of options. Click on Lines, and then click on M Line. That's a closed form microstrip line model. Drag that over here. And while we're at it, let's put some ports on it. So here's the ports up here. Port 1, I'm going to click, Control c to copy, Control v to paste. Click, Control r to rotate, and rotate with mouse. And drag it over there, connect it. These are 50 ohm ports, move that tag over there. But we need to put in the physical width and the physical length. So I'm just going to copy and paste directly from the calculator. So here's the physical length. Control C to copy and then Control V to paste in the schematic. Back to the calculator, go to the width, Control C to copy, go to the width here in the schematic, and Control V to paste. Okay, now we need to tell Microwave Office what are the characteristics of our um, substrate. To do that, we go down here to substrates, click on this little plus. Actually, don't just click right here on substrate itself, and you'll find right here microstrip substrate definition. So, we're going to define the microstrip substrate. Drag that over, and there it is. We have that. Okay, so now we're going to start putting in the properties of the substrate. So, epsilon r is 1.96, it's the dielectric constant. The height is 0.05 inches. T is the thickness of the conductor. I'm just going to copy from the calculator that. Rho we'll get to in a second. This is the lost tangent and that is 0.0019. And I'm going to change this yarn nom back also to 1.96 make sure. Okay so what if you don't know what row is? It's not very clear from here. So we can double click on this icon, go to element help down here at the bottom, and this tells you a bunch of useful information. So row is the bulk, the metal bulk resistivity normalized to gold. Okay, and then there's another little here, what is that? Little footnote and the gold bulk resistivity is given as this value. Okay, now we're not using gold, we're using copper. So let's click here. So this is the Wikipedia page um, for electrical resistivity and conductivity, and it has tables of um, resistivity and conductivity. And here's gold. In fact, this is exactly what it says in the help menu of Microwave Office. It's 2.44 times 10 negative 8 ohms meter for the resistivity. Copper, on the other hand, is a little less. It's 1.68 times 10 negative 8. So we need, a, we need to find this normalized value, meaning we divide the value of the resistivity of copper by gold. And I've done that up here. 1.68 divided by 2.44 is 0.68852. So it's about 0 0.689. 0 0.689 is the magic number. So that's the row. All right, I think everything is set up correctly. Let's go down here to the bottom left, click on Project. On Graphs, we right click on it and then click New Graph, Rectangular, and here's a new graph. We right click on it, add new measurement. Let's look at the return loss S11 first in dB. And hit up here analyze. And remember, this is dB. So you can see the return loss is less than negative dB. That means there's almost no power being reflected, which tells us that the line is indeed matched to 50 ohms, so our width is correct. 
up here on this box we can right click and then click on modify measurement and let's just look at S21 the insertion loss in DB and then I think it's reanalyzed so here's S21 in DB it's very close to zero there's a little bit of loss meaning it's a little less than zero um, due to the loss in the conductor and the dielectric substrate let's go up again on this box here right click modify measurement S21 same thing let's look at the angle click OK and then click analyze and let's look at 1.5 gigahertz here's my marker just kind of hold the cursor and drag it and indeed at around 1.5 gigs it's negative 45 degrees which tells us that the electrical length is 45 degrees which shows us our design is correct so this has been um, the basics of how to design a microstrip line using the transmission line calculator in microwave office and confirming your design by simulating the line using the M line model.